First and foremost, stop basing your self-worth on what somebody else is saying about you or what somebody else is telling you. Because what they're trying to do is they're trying to control your narrative. They want to control you. They want to make sure they keep you in this little bitty bottle so they can pour you out whenever they need something. But I need people pouring into you. You need to surround yourself with people that are pouring into you. But first and foremost, you have to make sure that you block out the noise of what other people are trying to tell you. They want to tell you who you are. You are not that. You are not that loser. You are not slow. You are not weak. And whenever they tell you these different things to try to hold you back, I need you to flip it. You have the power. You will be amazed at the power you have to change any narrative. Remember, you give meaning to words. So if somebody tries to say that you're soft, you have the power to change soft and make it mean strong. If somebody says you're a loser, you have the power to change loser and make it mean winner. Never let somebody else determine your value. Don't you ever, ever forget that you are worthy. You are worthy to be loved. You are worthy to be successful. But you have to believe it in your heart of hearts. And that's the number two thing I need you to stop doing. I need you to stop not believing in yourself. I love this quote. Whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're probably right. It's crazy because one of my basketball players has so much talent. But she doesn't believe in herself. She's looking around and seeing what everybody else is doing and she can't understand why they're having success and she's not having as much success. Well, her problem is the same as your problem. She doesn't believe she can have success. So she sabotages everything that she does. I'm not going to make the shot. I'm not going to get the rebound. Coach, I forgot to block out. I can't score. I can't do this. No college coach is going to want me. And I just have to look at her and have to shake her like, stop. You have everything going for you. God gave you a gift. I need you to believe in your gift. God gave you a gift. I need you to believe in your gift. Stop being pessimistic. I need you to have optimism even on your worst day. I get it. You think you can't, but yes, you can too. I need you to respect your brand, catch luck like Andrew and see success in your game like peekaboo. Late to bed, early rise, you're eager to. Grind and go get it sort of like them beavers do. In other words, I need you to believe in you. And last but not least, I need you to stop procrastinating. You got a great idea, you got a gift. You're being selfish because you're not sharing your gift with the world first and foremost. Don't do like Les Brown say and wind up taking your great gift with you to the graveyard, which he says is the richest place on earth. So I need you at this very moment, as soon as this video stops, I need you to get to work on that bright idea that you have. Stop procrastinating. Stop waiting the next week. Stop waiting the next month. Stop waiting until the cows come home. Stop waiting until Aunt Matilda comes back from the vacation. Get it done right now because procrastination is the thief of time. And no day, no minute, no moment is promised to us. So you can't afford to not get started right now. You have a legacy to leave on this world, but it'll never happen if you never get started. So that great idea, that great business idea, you wanna go back to school, you wanna start your own business, you wanna do this, you wanna do that. Now is the time to put the pen to the paper and get it started. Stop procrastinating because you have something to share with the world and we need your gift. So these are three things that I need you to stop doing to put yourself in a better position to win because this is a great day to win. So let's make every day a Wednesday. Now do me a favor, do yourself a favor. Go be great and elevate. And if this video touched your spirit, touched your heart, touched your soul, please share it because I know there are a lot of people out there that need to hear this message.